Hey guys, welcome back to the house. So y'all, I don't have a lot to go over. However, I did want to talk about Miss Drew Sedora and LaToya Howard possibly, sort of, kind of, potentially making up on Twitter, okay? And then I wanted to get into something a little bit different. Do you guys know who James Charles is, okay? The beauty YouTuber. Well, honey, he is engulfed in some scandals, honey. He was texting underage boys and the endorsement deals and money is being lost by the minute. So if you guys like the video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and let's get straight into the video. So before we get into the mess, you guys know we have to shout out our sponsor, CelestesNest.net. Y'all know that this right here is my favorite product. It is the body butter, okay? Whenever I wash my hands or get out of the shower, y'all know I put this all over my body yaddy yaddy to make sure it is silky smooth. And then y'all know that this is also one of my favorites, their herbal steam, right? I use this and put it on the stove to make sure my apartment is smelling nice and clean and good. But you can also use this as a facial steam to open up those pores. Or for my ladies, you can use it as a yoni steam. So you guys, check out celestesnest.net in the links down below. And of course, you can go ahead and use my code HOA for 20% off all of your orders for a limited time. Now let's get into the mess. I wanted to mention this whole thing between Miss Drew Sedora and LaToya Howard from Real Housewives of Atlanta. Y'all know that they are the newbies on the show and they just don't like each other, okay? We don't know why they don't like each other, but they just don't. We saw at the beginning of the season, LaToya and Kenya were making fun of Drew and the pet that was on her head named Drewisha, her very not so cute quarantine wig. And then, uh, you know, Drew decided to retaliate by bringing up Profit a lot, okay? By basically telling everybody that LaToya was screwing the Profit. And by the way, not only is Drew saying that, but Adam said that, and Giselle Bryant has been talking about that on Bravo's chat room. But I digress, okay? And so we know that these two newbies don't like each other, but I believe a couple of nights ago, they may have come to some sort of truce right? Miss Drusador went onto Twitter and she said, no matter what happened, this is a strong group of women. I am so blessed to get a chance to get to know them and bond with them. We are hashtag black girl magic, hashtag sisterhood. And I love that. Okay. I love how Drew Sedora can put aside the petty drama. Okay. And celebrate the black sisterhood, celebrate the black girl magic, because truly and honestly, these women are stronger together than they are apart, right? We love to see the drama, okay? We love to see the gag gifts. We love to see the shade and the messiness. But I mean, we would like to see them come together, right? Maybe one day LaToya and Drew can kind of be like a freaking Frack 2.0, okay? A new dynamic duo for season 14, possibly, if they get asked back for season 14. I mean, I'm just saying. But anywho... Y'all, LaToya responded to that tweet and she said, we love you, Queen Drew. Keep killing those wigs, hunty. Yes. Hashtag Roa. And y'all, I just kind of felt like LaToya was being a troll. Okay. She was being fake. She was being a troll, especially when she said, keep killing those wigs. Because we know that Drew and her terrible wigs were a topic of discussion damn near every episode this season, right? And so I kind of feel like there was a lot of sarcasm built into LaToya Forever's tweet. But then you guys, Drew Sedora decided to respond to that and say, yes, let's just start over, sis. Hashtag world peace, okay? Now, Drew, I don't know if you've been hanging around Miss Kenya Moore hair care for too long, but honey, you are not a pageant queen, so I don't know why you are quoting hashtag world peace. Okay, but I digress. Um, I would like to see these two kind of get together and start off on a better foot for season 14 because honestly, their beef is dumb. Okay, it's very stupid. They're arguing over wigs and profits and it kind of just doesn't make any sense. Like we love to see the mess. Like I said, we love the shadiness. But at the end of the day, if the drama ain't gonna have no substance, then we don't want it. So I feel like it could be a really good idea for the ladies to just start over. So let me know what you guys think about that situation down in the comments below. 
Now, before we get on out of here, okay, because I told you guys that I wasn't, you know, going to talk a lot. We didn't really have a lot. I'm kind of saving the realty for a live stream that I want to do, you know, later on today. So stay tuned for that. But to end this off, I did want to mention James Charles. And I don't think I've talked about James Charles since the inception of House of Aaron. If you are an OG house guest, then you would know that I used to talk about all the YouTubers, okay? I talked about Tasha K and Jeffree Stars and James Charles and Trisha Paytas and Keisha Anderson. And the list goes on and on and on and on. Now I talk about Drew and LaToya and LaToya some more and then LaToya some more. And technically, LaToya is a YouTuber, so I mean, I'm still on brand. But anyways, if you guys don't know, James Charles is a beauty guru YouTuber, okay? He's one of the biggest ones on YouTube. He does makeup. He does challenges. He's huge on TikTok. He has a lot of endorsement deals with makeup companies, most notably Morphe, right? Um, but you guys, James Charles is engulfed in this scandal where he was caught texting okay messaging underage boys inappropriately mm, okay and so first things first i do want to say that these underage boys that james charles was messaging did lie to james charles and say that they was 18. these underage boys were basically baiting james charles and lying talking about some we're 18 when these kids were 16, child, okay? And it was multiple of them, okay? It wasn't just one boy. It's been multiple boys. So I just want to go ahead and put that out there. Um, however, James Charles was lied to. James Charles, you know, attempted to continue to talk to these underage boys. And it has gotten him in so much trouble, okay? He has been exposed. He's had to go to Twitter to explain this away and explain, uh, you know, to the public that he was lied to. He did a whole YouTube video explaining that he was lied to, um, you know. And throughout the whole thing of him just explaining everything, he did kind of sort of attempt to take responsibility and hold himself accountable for the situation, but at the end of the day, girl, you are still the adult in the situation. Okay? You are still the adult in the situation. And so if you're being caught texting underage people inappropriately as a grown-ass man, honey, you're going to get in trouble. Okay? The police going to be knocking at your front door. So with that being said, y'all, now that this stuff has been going on for a couple of weeks now, y'all, James Charles is losing a lot of of money honey okay his career is basically in shambles and this is probably more scandalous than by sister okay because james charles pockets is being affected morphe dropped him recently okay uh morphe is the makeup company that partnered with james to do some sort of collab on a palette on a makeup palette James Charles is also no longer allowed to host his beauty competition series on YouTube called Instant Influencer, okay? He cannot be the face of the show any longer. And y'all, the worst one out of all of them, to me, is that YouTube has temporarily demonetized his whole platform, okay, on YouTube. And so you guys, James Charles is not where the money resides any longer okay because these businesses and platforms don't want nothing to do with his ass now with that being said okay just to wrap this whole thing up i do think it is very unfortunate that his career is being jeopardized because i do think he was baited okay he was lied to in all fairness however james charles is ultimately wrong 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 okay how poor should say this is the wrong road sis you're wrong because out of the two of y'all, you are the adult in the situation. And so you bear the responsibility and you need to be held accountable. Does it suck? Yes. But this is going to be a lesson learned for Mr. James Charles. You best to start checking IDs at the door. Okay. You best to start checking IDs at the door because you are famous and you're going to have all types of people in your DMs lying to you okay trying to destroy what the hell you got going on and then of course you okay sitting up there making videos in your big mansion in calabasas are so naive to the shits that you're believing these people and you're getting yourself in these situations where you look like a predator 
okay? You look like a predator. And so my advice to James Charles is that, honey, you need to accept the fact that you are wrong, okay? You need to start checking IDs at the door or you need to stop dating people altogether if you can't decipher who's of age and who's not. Because I'm gonna tell y'all right now, I've talked to a whole bunch of different men and I've never been in a situation where I accidentally was inappropriately messaging someone who was underage. Like, girl, I'm attracted to grown as men, okay? So if I'm looking at you with the googly eyes, I know you're grown, okay? It is what it is. It's going to be what it's going to be. Let me know what you guys think about the situation down in the comments below. Please, I don't want y'all hating in the comments, okay? You can tell your opinion in a respectful manner because if I see some homophobia happening down in the comments, I'm going to block and delete, all right? So, uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think about that. And then let me know what you guys think about LaToya and Drew. Do you guys want them to be the new freaking frack for season 14? Right? Let me know. If you guys like the video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel. And I will see you guys a little bit later. Love you. And don't forget to create a great day. Bye, you guys.